Hi, how are you doing this evening? I want us to have a look at what is happening on the hero card and how do we intend taking advantage of any potential opportunity lining up for us during the new week. Well, it is obvious that we have been on a long-term bearish momentum and we don't know how price is going to play out. Since the later part of June, price has been caught up with a descending channel, which I have highlighted with the red line you can see on your screen. Price has been caught within a bearish a descending channel. As you can see with my visual representation here, we can see how price has been respected within that channel and what are we going to be expecting during this week. Is price going to go further down, probably continue to respect that bearish, that descending channel? Or is there a possibility that price is going to break out of that channel to push price back into the demand zone that we have here before the bearish move continues? Join me on this video as we scale down to the lower time frame to see how price has been playing out in the last couple of weeks. Before I go down to the lower time frame, it is pertinent in the dimension that since we saw the breakdown of this demand zone, price has been continued to the downside. And from a technical perspective, after a breakdown of structure, we expect price to come and do the retest of structure before the trend continuation continues. So let's scale down to a lower time frame and see how we can take advantage of any opportunity lining up for us. Scaling down to a four hours time frame, what do we have here? During the course of last week's trading session, we saw our price continue to the downside from here. And one thing that happened is this price continued down, had a sharp rejection of the of the support level of that descending channel. Price came back up to do a rejection of that resistant channel with the hopes that price is going to continue to respect it. But unfortunately, price was unable to go further down as price was caught within a consolidation phase right outside that descendant channel to give us a scenario or give us a clue into the indecision that has gripped the market. So at this point, it appears that participants in the market are actually caught up in a dilemma as um, they are yet to make a decision if they are going to be going to the upside from here or probably they're going to be respecting that bearish trend. So to make my job easier as we head into the new week, I have identified a key level at 1.311 area as I shall be using this level as a yardstick and it's going to be my guide as we head into the New York session. If we look at what happened since the beginning of last week, we saw our price has respected that key level. We saw the sharp rejection here, price pushed up a little bit. Then we saw a breakdown of that key level where price continued to respect that key level as anytime price comes into that key level, it got rejected. Not until the later part of last week's trading session, we saw this bullish engulfing candles that took price out of that structure which also shares a confluence with the resistant level of that descending channel and price has been caught right above that key level to give, which is the consolidation phase I spoke about earlier. So going into the new week, I want to see price break down this key level. That is, I see a breakdown. Remember, I don't get too excited at the sight of a signal. We see a signal in the form of a breakdown of that key level, a retest of the key level or probably that resistant level of the descending channel to give us further confirmation of a trend continuation to the downside. That is the first scenario I'm looking out for. Then the second scenario is this, and that is for the bullish momentum. Well, I want to scale down to the one hour time frame so that I can identify that consolidation phase more clearly so that we can use that as another yardstick for any bullish momentum here on the one hour time frame. So I would like to bring out my line chart at this point so that I can have a specific point of, um, of reference. And what I have here is this. We have this channel right around this area. We saw that as soon as price comes into 1.3175, area, we saw a sharp rejection of that level. So I want to give this a purple to 
differentiate it from my major key level. So we have this area here. So one thing I want to be looking out for going into the new week is this. Remember, we are, we are right above that resistant level of the descending channel. And at the same time, we are also right above the key level at 1.3110 area. So what I want to be looking out for if is this for a bullish momentum. If price breaks out of that structure at 1.31700 area significantly well, that is, it breaks out, we see an engulfing candle close right above that level, then I want to see a retest of structure for a confirmation that price is actually going bullish on this one. Then I can join the rally at a confirmation of whatever structure price action gives at that point in time. So these are the two scenarios I'm going to be looking out for on the EuroCAD. So at this point, I'll be like, I would like to pause the video at this point and be rest assured that I shall be giving you updates at the beginning of the trading week as we shall be looking out price, we shall be looking out for our price is going to play out during the early hours of the week. And after which, whatever happens, I will share an update in that regard. If this video as, as in any way be of help, in making your own individual decision on the EuroCAD, kindly support me by liking this video. You will want to follow me on my TradingView platform so that you don't miss out on the regular updates I normally share in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video and do have a wonderful day. Bye bye.